for another video. So today we are going to be um, sublimating on a tumbler. So the image that I'm going to be using is an image that I got for free out of one of the craft groups. And so if any of you guys want this image, then you can have it for free as well. Just let me know down below. So um, this is a Nipsey Hustle image. And this image is already sized at 11 by 13 so i'm not going to resize it simply because my tumbler is an eight by nine i think or something like that so what i'm going to do is turn the picture i don't know why okay i'm just going to do it a 10 by 10. this is a really good image so even if i make it you know bigger it's not going to be distorted or anything so from here, it's the same thing. I always check my print page setup. As I said in my previous video, everything is already defaulted to what it needs to be. And then just go up to file and print. Choose your correct printer. And then it's gonna default to your last use settings. Again, if you didn't see my last video and you need to see what my settings are set as, this is what they are. And then from there, just click print. printed the picture off this is how it looks the color looks really really good as always okay so firstly you are definitely going to need a tumbler that you can sublimate on this is a 20 ounce tumbler gonna need heat tape scissors of course and then your picture that we printed so what you want to do is cut off the excess as close as you can. All right, so once you cut the border around, this is exactly how it should look. It should just be a full, complete picture. So from there, what I do is, because I made this a little bigger, I already know that it fits. You can see I have more than enough room to cover. And if you're a beginner, then I would suggest making your picture bigger. Literally lay it like this. So because this C is right here and I want to get this on the picture as much as I can, I'm going to put it at the top as close as I can, if y'all can see that. See? So... What you want to do is literally just wrap it, just like this. So I'm going to trim mine down a little bit. So I was trying to decide which part I was going to cut. And so I see down here that this is not necessarily going to get on the cup. So I'm going to cut right, right down here in the center, or maybe not the center, I'm sorry, the side. And if the face is cut off a little bit, I'm fine with that. It's enough faces on this cup for, you know, the person to get the gist of it. <laughs> so, turn it to the side so y'all can see. Or maybe like this. And I'll just wrap it, y'all. I hope you can see it. Tight as you can because I don't use I don't use the shrink wrap I don't use the masking tape I don't do none of that stuff y'all the biggest part is just making sure that this is tight that's the biggest part already pre did my heat tape so just tape it. Okay, so I'm at the bottom. So I'm at the bottom of the cup. So what I'm gonna do is take this and then just cut. And I'm gonna leave it a little bit 
bigger because I want full coverage on the bottom. So if it's a little bit big, then that's fine. Okay, I can cut it a little better than that. Okay, so after we tape the cup up, this is exactly how it should look. You'll notice this has extra coverage at the top. At the bottom, this has extra coverage as well. That way we can get a complete wrap when we put this in the oven. So yeah, y'all. Let's go to the convection oven. Okay, y'all, so this is the convection oven that I have. I think this is an oyster, or oyster, I don't know how you pronounce it. One thing I wanted to show y'all is make sure you get a oven thermometer, okay? This is very important. You're gonna need to know like what your temperature is. Like say for instance, I'm gonna set this to 400 just to get it, you know, revved up a little bit. And then when you open this, your temperature is gonna decrease. So you really wanna sub these at 385, and I normally do like six minutes and 30 seconds. That's what I do. You wanna make sure that your oven is set at turbo. Like I said, I normally put mine at 400, and then um, I'll turn it down as I see the temperature start to rise. And so I just put mine on, where is the option? Oh, stay on. All right, so we are super close to 400. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open the oven. And I'm gonna sit the tumbler in. Y'all, I don't be using gloves or nothing. So just stick it in and close it. Important to get the oven thermometer because when I put this in here, um, the oven was super close to 400 and you see it dropped down to 350. And so um, the tumbler is still cooking, but that's why it is so important to get this thermometer. Because if you take your tumbler out at six minutes and it's only been cooking at 350, then your color payoff is not gonna be good. So I'm gonna let this sub a little longer than six minutes and then we'll take it out and see how it turns out. All I'm gonna do is pull the tape off. a close view on it so you can see like how good the color payoff is and you can see right here where it overlap but that's fine <laughs> it's bound to overlap anyway but I mean you can just see the color payoff is good every single time I never use shrink wrap I don't tape the cup up with masking tape and everything else that I see everyone doing on their videos. So this is just to let you know, y'all, that you can most definitely achieve these sublimation tumblers without all of the extra stuff. <laughs> 